to our Honorable Mayor, Patrick Brown, uh, the Chief of Police, the Brampton Fire Chief, uh, to our dignitaries, the councillors, and everyone in attendance. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of Almighty God be upon each and every one of you. My task today was to speak three minutes about Islam, which is sometimes impossible, but we'll try to make it, uh, summarize it, uh, by talking about the pillars of Islam and how the, the foundations of Islam uh, makes us fit into any community that we go to, and it allows the Muslims to outstretch their hands in solidarity and in, and in unity with those uh, of our community to work together. So the first pillar of Islam is the Shahada, is the testification that there is one God, a God that is merciful and compassionate, a God that loves, uh, and that the last and final messenger for amongst the prophets and messengers that were sent is the Prophet Muhammad that came along the line from Prophet Adam to Prophet Moses and Prophet Noah, Prophet Jesus, and so on. And he is the last and final messenger the one who was sent with the Quran, the book of Revelation, that we believe in and that we take our rules from. And which is interesting enough that the other books of, of that came to prophets, we also believe in. We believe in the Torah, we believe in the Bible, the, the Old Testament, the New Testament. These are things that we believe in. And if we look, as our scholars have, said, have looked at, 80% is very similar across the books of that came to humanity. And they came to humanity as the Qur'an came to humanity. And so our testification is what firms us and makes us individuals and makes us a community that is strong and vibrant. And then we offer our, our salah, our prayers, our daily prayers five times a day. And we have congregational prayers on Fridays as a lot of you have attended. Uh, and, and then we have fasting in the month of Ramadan as our Honorable Mayor has mentioned. Uh, which allows us to understand uh, the plight of others who, who go hungry. The majority of the world today go hungry. And so we have so much in access. We do. We have so much in access that sometimes, you know, going without food enables one to understand the plight of those and the difficulties that those have that may not find food. And so that is also one of our pillars, the fast in the month of Ramadan. The next pillar, if is the almsgiving or zakat in which those who are uh, well to do those who uh, who save that they give a portion of their savings to the poor and the needy and it is a must it is a must that it, it is obligatory upon the muslims those who are well to do and they save that they give a certain percentage each year and that percentage that they give of their saving goes to the poor and it goes to the needy, as well as the sadaqah and the donations that is encouraged year-round. And the last and final pillar of our faith is the pilgrimage. The pilgrimage to Mecca, in which we go and we dedicate ourselves to God Almighty, in which we visit the house of God, we circumambulate the house, we do certain rituals, and God Almighty says that when you go and you complete and it's accepted, that you come back like a newborn, that your sins are erased and you come back and you start afresh. These pillars are not just personal pillars that we ourselves as, as Muslims, that it makes, us, uh, it makes us close to God Almighty, of course. But it also, in reflection, these pillars allow us to become tolerant. They allow us to become uh, loving. They allow us to become kinder. They allow us to be more compassionate. They allow us to empathize with others. And they allow us to work as a community and within a society to make it strong and to make it vibrant. And so, you know, the, the critique of Islam is that those who are multism, those who are, who, are real, who are really practicing, that they're extremists, that they are off. Of course, there's that, those who go those, those, that way, of course, and they break the rules that, that we ourselves conform to, but the, the Muslims who adhere to their faith, are you'll find them from amongst the most loving in community, and the most respecting of others, uh, individuals, uh, individual uh, uh, differences, and so on and so forth. And so, this is what you will find. And so, Islam 
you know, uh, as we say, you know, come and, and look and see, I always invite, as I know the Imams of our community, our doors are always open. And anyone can come in at any time. And they can share anything with us, a meal, we can sit down, we can have a chat, we can have tea, we can have coffee. Our doors are always open. And that is something that we want to encourage, you know, not just in the month of October, in which we have programs, but we encourage everyone to come, please come to our messages, please come out and, and engage us and, and ask questions. Even if you ask, even if it's something that is controversial, we'd be willing to answer and we're willing to share in that discussion so that it benefits us, it benefits everyone, and it benefits our beautiful <coughs> community. So, Jazakallah Khairan, thank you so much. Uh, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may God Almighty preserve us and protect us. And may God Almighty make our community one of the best communities that, that, we, can, that we can participate in. Thank you so much. <coughs>